Sammy asked the question, how can I make a pie chart from a SharePoint list? My SharePoint list has a column called compliance, multiple choice, and compliance attention out of compliance. I want a dashboard page in Power Apps that has a pie chart showing compliance status of all units. And next to that, a, a list of vehicles attention or out of compliance. Uh, then I, when I add a pie chart, it is not pulling the compliance column as an option, and I'm not sure how to write the function correctly. Any help appreciated? Should Anybody know what their Sammy's trying to do? Wouldn't they better have that SharePoint list as, that can feed into even um, up into Power BI, which would actually put it on a dashboard or even through Excel? up in you know whichever way it goes to then have it a go as a as a pie chart it's like which way has it got to go yeah i was looking at yeah Pulling the I, I that's column. my suggestion was definitely power bi because that's the easiest way to make a dashboard i mean there used to be that charts and graphs web part but that does not exist in the modern view. So if you have a classic SharePoint, you can use the charts and graphs web part of it. If you're in modern, then Power BI is definitely the way to do that. And it looks like he's it, it says that it's not playing the compliance column as an option. Um, and so we're not sure how to write the function correctly. There are some pie charts that are limited to how many fields you can select um, based on the way they've got the formatting set up. So if if they're doing a pie chart um, even in Power BI, but in the function, the way the function is written, um, it could just simply be um, a, a character or the way the function is written that just needs to be reviewed. It could be the way they've got it formatted. The, it could be the way they've got their filter set up. Unfortunately, without looking at it, I couldn't tell you what is not working properly, but I would say Power BI is probably the right way to display it. My concern is it says a dashboard page in Power Apps. So they've got something that's been custom created and therefore it's then not flowing through because Power Apps mm -hmm. is a whole nother, whole nother space. I throw through for uh, developers a couple JavaScript libraries in here that do very nice uh, pie charts. So if you're trying to roll your own and you feel you have to do that, uh, Chart.js or um, Canvas.js are both uh, good to work with in terms of uh, building pie charts and getting them to uh, expose additional data. Uh, and they look pretty. Pretty is and, important. And of course, the soapboxes, it's not about the pictures. It's about the data behind it. <laughs> you you go so sure got, deep. I'm all on the surface. I like got to have the right data. Got to have the right queries. Got to have the right information for it to pull through. The pretty pictures are the easy part if your data is set up properly. Yeah, I don't know. I just if it's uh, if it's not in alignment with the latest um, uh, TikTok memes that are out there, I don't understand. It just <laughs> no. So can we do TikTok there... about Power BI? Come on, isn't it Twitch now? You know, so moving, no. moving on, moving on. No, no. no. <laughs> It's um yeah, but there's is so there a pie today. chart dance that's out there? Or is it you know I don't know. Good luck with that.